Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you. Uh, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces 100%. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. For Pisces, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Ooh. The person they're thinking about, spirit of, what are their thoughts or feelings? towards Pisces. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and sus subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot, so thank you for Pisces. For Pisces. Thoughts and feelings. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Pisces? I don't want to take a card yet. Okay, Five of Swords. Something could have happened between you here, Pisces. A fight, an argument, maybe your person was deceptive in some way. Uh, maybe there was an ending that wasn't very peaceful. A difficult ending between you, possibly. Your person could be thinking about this when it comes to you, how they behaved in a situation. What else, Spirit? What else? their thoughts or feelings towards Pisces. The wheel reversed. Bad timing, bad luck. Things not really working out in their favor here. I feel like this might be one of those I screwed up readings. We'll see. Maybe they had a part to play in how things went down here. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Pisces? Wow, yeah, definitely. Something happened. Ten of Swords. Something happened between you and this person. Painful ending of some sort, or maybe your person's going through an end of a cycle that's difficult for them. I'm going to use my homemade oracle deck here to get some more insight. Is there any other insight you can give us into this person that Pisces is dealing with? What are their thoughts or feelings? towards Pisces at this time for Pisces please what are their thoughts or feelings towards Pisces at this time I'm afraid to tell you how I feel oh. what else I can just pick one card. Anything else? These cards do tend to stick. Okay. A new beginning. I guess I'll take that one because if they just... My deck wants to talk. Bottom of the deck. This love is faded. Interesting. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. And I also feel like your person is afraid of taking those first steps to have a new beginning with you. So let's get into the tarot. I'm going to be looking at their true intentions for you or towards you and the actions they'll take. So let's start with their intentions. Spirit, what are this person's intentions towards Pisces? What are their true intentions towards Pisces? What are their true intentions towards Pisces? What are their true intentions towards Pisces spirit? What are this person's true intentions? I'm using the Barbara Moore deck here. The devil reversed. Capricorn energy there. Breaking free of an unhealthy attachment. What else? What else? What are their true intentions towards Pisces? Oops. Four of Wands reversed. Yikes. What are their true intentions? 
towards Pisces. Ten of Cups. I really do feel what I'm picking up here. It's almost like your person. There's a few ways to read this. Either your person has toxic tendencies that have caused them to make mistakes in this connection and create a lack of harmony, create issues in this connection. Um, they know this and they want to still have a Ten of Cups with you. That's one way to read this. Another way to read this is that your person needs to get out of unhealthy attachments that they find themselves in. Maybe they are prone to making bad choices or being tempted by the wrong things or going down paths that they shouldn't be going down. Um, and perhaps that has gotten them in trouble and there is no no peace in their life. And so I think when they think about you, they think you are someone that can turn things around for them. We'll see. I'm going to clarify all of these. Some of you are with someone that's married or in a long-term commitment with children. That's for some of you. So let's see. What actions will this person take? Potential actions this person will take. Potential actions this person will take. Potential actions this person will take. Potential actions. Seven of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. Potential actions this person will take. Three of Wands. Potential actions this person will take towards Pisces. Strength. Leo energy. I see them um, gaining courage. I see them like waiting for the right time, maybe trying to be strategic. Maybe the Seven of Swords is not, you know, someone trying to be deceptive. I have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck reversed. So it's almost like they're trying to control their emotions about this situation in order to heal whatever happened. Maybe they've been planning and strategizing how to go about this. We'll see when I clarify. So let's get into that. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Pisces, please. Help me clarify all of these energies for Pisces. Something definitely happened, though, between you and this person, and it didn't... It wasn't pretty. Oh my gosh. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Is the Five of Swords here? Seven of Cups reversed. Um, I feel like your person made a bad choice. Again, with the temptations. Um, the hangman at the bottom. They know what they've done. They know that their own choices led to this Five of Swords. Tell me about the wheel reverse. Why is the wheel reverse? Two of Cups reversed. 
some sort of separation, breakup, something didn't work out here. Can I get one more for the wheel reverse? Maybe it wasn't the right time. Maybe it was just a series of unfortunate events when it came to you. Like nothing seemed to work out here. Four of Swords. I feel like someone here has been trying to heal from this. Or is really deep in thought reflecting on, you know, what led to this. It could have been infidelity. It could have been that someone had a wandering eye. Maybe someone couldn't choose what path they wanted. Um, maybe they weren't acting or taking the necessary action they should have taken. Um, a lot of things I feel like could have happened here. And it led to an ending. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. It's the Ten of Swords here. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So your person, I feel like they want a new opportunity. I'm taking this one too. Two of Pentacles and trying to decide possibly how to do this, how to make this offer. Again, with like the strategy. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. I feel like your person, this is how they view you, Pisces, as someone independent, strong, attractive, has it all. I feel like this person wants a new beginning um, here. A new, a new opportunity. Tell me about the devil reverse. What's this about? The chariot, cancer energy, moving forward. They want to move past all of this unhealthy, um, toxic energy. Tell me more about the devil reverse, please. Nine of cups reverse, because it hasn't gotten them what they thought they were going to get, or they haven't gotten any sort of emotional satisfaction with the way they've been behaving. You know, if this is someone that's screwed up because they made the wrong choices, they 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 know it didn't lead anywhere, that it wasn't worth it. Tell me about the Four of Wands reverse, please. Why is this Four of Wands? That's way too many. Tell me about the Four of Wands reverse. Why is the Four of Wands reverse here? The Empress reversed. Nothing growing, no harmony, no a bad investment as well. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands reverse? Again, if your person's married, I feel like this is the partner that they left behind or some sort of interference here or third party energy with the Empress reverse. Um, I feel like if it's not a third party, this is something that's not growing. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Possibly because of deception or someone not telling you the full story. You know, someone maybe being afraid to tell you how they feel like we've been getting here. Um, I feel like either there's some sort of commitment here with, with the Hierophant at the bottom. Someone could have maybe lied about a commitment or not told you the whole truth about a commitment. Um, or if you had a commitment with this person, their lies kind of got in the way here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Here's the Ten of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Six of Swords reverse. Five of Swords reverse. I feel like your person, um, the journey that they want to take here, the transition that they want to make here in, to this new beginning, um, it will require to leave something behind and they're stuck. Either they're delayed by a Queen of Pentacles reverse, they might not have the financial resources, they might have, they might already be attached to some sort of connection. There's some sort of delay here. There could be children involved with the Ten of Cups. And, and you know, it, it's this is 
what your person wants to move towards this Ten of Cups. And I feel like they're delayed or blocked in some way here. It could also be fear for some of you that they're, th th it's almost like this person fears they're not good enough for you. Tell me about this seven, move this over here. Tell me about this seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? For Pisces, why is the seven of swords here? Five of pentacles. Struggle, being left out in the cold, financial difficulties. What else can you tell me about the seven of swords? Three of Pentacles reversed. Third party energy, something not working. It's at the bottom. Four of Cups reversed. Very interesting. I feel like your person's approach is not going to work out. That's one of the messages I'm getting here. You know, this sneaking around, uh, not being completely upfront, um, maybe trying to strategize, um, avoid confrontation. I feel like it's not going to repair this connection. It's probably going to harm it. Um, and it's not going to work because I just don't see this right here. This isn't, this is like the opposite of success right here. Tell me about the three of wands. I feel like they're going to cause more delays. Why is the three of wands here? There you are, Pisces, with the moon reverse. Something coming to light, a secret or some sort of revelation here. Tell me more about the three of wands. The fool, a new beginning. It's like someone's waiting for a new beginning here. Um, you know, and, and I, I do think that they have good intentions. At least I have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom here. So a very solid beginning. They're not just wanting a new beginning just because I just don't think that they have learned enough or are being smart enough about how to approach this new beginning. I feel like you know, with the Seven of Swords and this Moon Reverse, it's almost like they're going to get caught doing something they shouldn't be doing. Maybe this is someone that hasn't opened up, you know, about how they truly feel. And it might be a surprise, a reveal to you that they want a new beginning for you. But regardless, I just don't see this really being a smooth transition for your person. Maybe they're working on that, on, on you know, making the right choices up here. Um... But this Seven of Swords, it's not going to work out for your person. So I really hope they rethink their approach. Tell me about the Strength card. Leo energy down here with the Strength card. Why is Strength here? Page of Cups reversed. Heartbroken energy, disappointment. Tell me more about the Strength card. Nine of Swords reversed, overcoming. It's only, I feel like your person's overcoming this fear of rejection. But I have a Page of Wands reversed at the bottom. Can I get one more for this Strength card? Get one more for Strength, please. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's something I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you, Pisces, because I'm not here to sell stories. I'm just going to tell you exactly what I see here. Um, I feel like your person is trying to have their emotions in check, trying to do the right thing, trying to be smart about things. I just don't think they have the maturity yet. I don't think they fully learned from their mistakes. I think they're trying. 
but I don't think they're there yet. And I feel like they're, they're going to make more mistakes than good decisions as they move forward into trying to make this work, you know? I feel like they've caused a lot of heartbreak here. Maybe they've been fearful of being rejected, of having their dreams shattered. And they're thinking about, you know, the potential of something new. Maybe they've been um, disappointed in love and are fearful about loving again or something like that. And they're trying to have a new beginning here. But again, I feel like their approach is, you know, maybe they're not going to be completely honest or maybe they're not going to be, you know, direct and to the point. And maybe they're trying to like find the easy way of doing this when it's really a difficult situation, if that makes sense. I feel like something already happened between you and whatever this is, I feel like your person needs to really step it up. And I don't see that. Like, I don't see that completely here. I see your per your it's like your person is still kind of making mistakes along the way, but mistakes are there for us to learn from. So if they're not learning from those mistakes, then 